5.8 to 6.3 earthquake is likely in the San Francisco Bay, most likely late on the 27th of August into late on the 28th. So that's the most likely time for it to happen late on Friday evening into Saturday evening. So that's the best time for 5.8 to 6.3 earthquake, which is likely in the San Francisco Bay. All right, let's get to the details here real quick. It's uh, this again, this is Luke Thomas, home push here at the Earthquake Forecast Center. It is 9.23 in the evening on Thursday, August 26, 2021. All right, let's go look at the forecast here now. All right. So here's the uh, San Francisco forecast. And we're looking, uh, this spike in risk here, the peak, we have two different forecast models. The one that we used to forecast, uh, the forecast before this, the, let, the last video was a forecast model based on when the earthquake is four to six to seven days away. So that works pretty well, but when we get real close to when it's gonna hit, we use this forecast model that is on the screen right now. And that's calling for the spike in risk late on the 28th. However, uh, it's the risk is late on the 28th of August, which is uh, Saturday evening. However, it can hit, hit as early as the uh, Friday evening, which is the 27th. In fact, let's go look at that right now. We've gotten some uh, quakes out here in uh, Northeast California south southeast of Carson City. And here they are. We had a, uh, a 2.7 out there, 2.5, 3.5, 3 3.5 again, and 3.0 and 2.5. So quite a few uh, quakes out in that area. However, the most likely spot for this quake to occur is, well, there we go, Alamo, California. This quake just happened a few minutes ago. And uh, this is where they should start hitting is in the San Francisco Bay, uh, most likely near San Francisco, but Oakland, this one is in Alamo, San Leandro. And we're expecting that quake to hit somewhere in the San Francisco Bay, uh, starting most likely um, the 27th, late in the 27th into the 28th. So sometime tomorrow into Saturday is when this quake should occur. And here's our, our Forecast, forecast graph, it peaks on the 28th, but again, the risk begins late on the 27th, like from 3 p.m. on the 27th through uh, like three in the morning on the 29th. So the highest risk again is late on the 28th. And here's another spike in risk way out on uh, September 2nd. And that could produce about a 4.0 probably. We'll get to that uh, maybe tomorrow or another day. But this is the one we're concerned about, the one coming up uh, late on the 27th into the 28th. And this risk level is equivalent to a 5.8 to 6.3. Let's look at uh, some of the other forecasts. And we're going to be focusing on uh, the forecast maps that I have uh, a great deal of data uh, from now on until we uh, get some other cities as well. But this is... Uh, these cities, I have a lot of data and I'll be adding some other cities later, but we're gonna focus on these uh, nine, I believe it's nine cities that we have here. And we'll start with uh, Anchorage, Alaska. So there's a lot of data involved in these forecasts. And we'll start out here with the, uh, we have a spike in, a small spike in risk on the 28th in the morning in Anchorage, Alaska. And this one here is a 5.9, 5.9 earthquake is likely in the Anchorage area late on August 30th into August 31st. Late on August 30th into the 31st, looking for a 5.9 earthquake is likely, according to this data, extremely high level of risk, late on August 30th into the 31st. So good, strong earthquake in the Anchorage area on the 30th into the 31st. All right, Athens, Greece. You can see here the risk uh, spikes. Well, we don't know if this is really a spike yet or just reaching a, uh, a very high level here, but this level right here on uh, August 30th, on August 30th here is about the equivalent of a 5.1 earthquake. So that's coming up 
uh, on August 30th, a 5.1 earthquake is likely in the Athens area. And this data is the quakes usually hit within, within uh, 100 miles or 200 kilometers of uh, the city that the risk is for. So this is for Athens. So within 200 kilometers of Athens, a 5.1 earthquake is likely on August 30th. All right, in uh, Coalinga, there we go, Coalinga, California, which is south of San Francisco Bay and north, north northwest of Los Angeles. Coalinga Park Field area, which is northwest of Bakersfield. We have this uh, spike in risk on the 28th as well, 28th. And the, the risk always starts a little bit earlier than that. So late on the 27th into the 28th, uh, a 5.5 is possible, 5.5 to 6.0 is possible in the Coalinga area. So the, the highest risk in California is in San Francisco Bay at 5.8 to 6.3. The second highest risk level is in Coalinga Parkfield area. And that risk level is 5.5 to 6.0. So those are the two highest risk levels in California for the 27th of August into the 28th. And El Centro, down near the Salton Sea. This risk is a, a spike in risk on the 28th as well. And this risk level is about a 5.3. 5.3 .3 to 5.8 is possible in the El Centro Salton Sea area, late in the 27th into the 28th as well. Another spike in risk here on uh, September 2nd, but this one is uh, quite large uh, spike in risk 5.3 to 5.8 is likely uh, in the El Centro area, late on the 27th into the 28th. All right, Eureka, California. We have uh, a spike in risk uh, late on the 26th into the 27th in the morning. So, uh, And that one is about a 4.7. 4.7 is possible in the Eureka, Northwest California, late in the 26th, which is right about now, into the 27th in the morning. A 4.7 is possible in the Eureka. And then a 4.8 is possible on the 28th into the 29th on this spike in risk right here. You can check out these forecasts over at quakeprediction.com, get more details. Los Angeles. 4.9 earthquake is uh, possible in the Los Angeles area. Again, uh, the 27th into the 28th, late in the 27th into the 28th of August, a 4.9 is possible near Los Angeles. And we've seen those uh, 3.5 sitting up in Northeast California right now. San Francisco, um, again, is the highest risk level where 5.8 to uh, 6.3 earthquake is likely late on the 27th into late on the 28th. So sometime be between late on, on Friday evening into late on Saturday evening is when this quake should hit the San Francisco Bay. All right, and in uh, Japan, we have two forecasts, one in Tokyo, and that's this one here. This uh, produced a 5.2 and this spike in risk back on the 22nd. And this spike in risk on the late in the first into the second could produce a 6.0 earthquake, but it's more likely to hit closer to Sendai, which is this forecast map. Sendai is up in Northeast Japan near Miyagi, Iwate, Japan, that area. And this is a 6.0 earthquake is likely late on uh, September 1st into September 2nd. So watch for that in Northeast Japan, if uh, you have friends there, or if you live there, looking for a strong earthquake, 6.0 earthquake is likely late on the 1st of September into the 2nd. Once more, let's go over to uh, do a review real quick. Uh, the least, uh, the lowest risk level in California during the next uh, 48 hours or so is in Eureka. 4.7 is possible. 4.8 is possible late on the uh, 28th and the 29th. And then uh, the second highest risk level is in Los Angeles, where a 4.9 is possible there, the 27th and the 28th. And then the next uh, highest risk level is in the uh, El Centro, down near the Salton Sea, where a 
to 5.8 as possible, the 27th and the 28th. And then Kohlinga. Kohlinga is the second highest risk level, a 5.5 to 6.0 is possible, uh, late on the 27th, Friday into Saturday the 28th. And the highest risk is in San Francisco Bay, where a 5.8 to 6.3 earthquake is likely. And we're late on the 26th right now. So during the next uh, uh, 48 hours or so, late on the 27th, late on Friday, into late on Saturday is when the highest risk level is for uh, San Francisco Bay. And we just saw this uh, 1.7 earthquake that just hit on the east side of the San Francisco Bay here near Oakland. And we're gonna start seeing a lot of activity in that area during the next uh, 48 hours. So watch for a very strong earthquake in the San Francisco Bay during the next 48 hours, most likely late on Friday into Saturday. All right, thanks for following us here at quakeprediction.com. And if you do live in uh, San Francisco Bay, be prepared for that strong earthquake coming up uh, Friday into Saturday. And we will update you again uh, tomorrow night and give you more details at that time. Thanks for watching. And again, this is Luke Thomas at uh, quakeprediction.com, the Earthquake Forecast Center. Thank you so much.